this whole sense. I think Tiki Barber was a little bit tongue in cheek when he said that Saquon was dead to him. Yeah, if you listen to the audio, okay. he's clearly kidding. He's kidding. Yeah. But then today or or after Saquon pushed back, Tiki did say that he does feel like he's speaking for a lot of Giants fans. And if that is in fact the case, again, I'm living out here in Southern California. Most Giants fans that I know are texting me or reaching out in some way, shape, or form to say, what the hell are they doing? They don't know what the hell they're doing. I did just kind of lay out what I think they are doing by resetting and hitting the line and building from the inside out like teams that reset do. I mean, take a look at what the Carolina Panthers just did. Even though they traded away Brian Burns, they hit the offensive line, and they're going to try and build from that inside out. And it definitely helps that one of the offensive linemen that the Panthers got um, is a pretty good receiver on uh, on a screen pass when he's not supposed to catch the ball in Robert Hunt. <laughs> And he scores, by the way, when he catches balls, he's not allowed to catch. And does flips. So, but they're wondering what the hell is going on and why are the Giants doing Saquon like this? They're not sitting there and thinking Saquon heel turn. Did I use the proper wrestling phrase? Yes, you did. Thank you. Yes, you did. See? I pick stuff up from you. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you. I don't think anybody's sitting there thinking that he is a turn coat. <laughs> Get out of here. And if you are, you're out of your minds. Saquon's getting his at a position where hardly nobody gets theirs. Derrick Henry gave his heart and soul to the Tennessee Titans, and he's out there still looking like he's 21 years old, ripped like a Marvel superhero, and he's maybe having to accept a one-year Six, seven million dollar contract from the Baltimore Ravens. And I understand that this is outstanding money for the rest of us in the real world. But in terms of a guy who's given his heart and soul, and the Titans are like, we'd rather go with a second year player, Tajay Spears, and we'd rather sign Tony Pollard off of a highly disappointing season in Dallas. We'd rather go with them than stick with you when you're about to turn 30. That's the state of affairs. Aaron Jones, you just killed it for us in Green Bay in the final six weeks of the season where you were hurt and you were rehabbing your head off to get back and do great things. Like, they weren't going as far as they went with Jordan Love if Aaron Jones didn't do the stuff that he did. And he has been nothing but outstanding to the point where Brian Gutekun saying this was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, but he did it told him you're taking a pay cut for a second straight year or you're gone. And he wouldn't take the pay cut and he's gone. And they reach out to Josh Jacobs and say, we'll give you a four-year deal that when you take a look at it's really year to year. But if you continue to work, you're sticking around here. They told Aaron Jones, see ya. That's the state of affairs of running backs. Jonathan Taylor basically had to hold his breath for two months before the Colts said, uncle. Now to put him through, you know, a sit down with Jim Irsay on a bus and have to sit there and hear the guy that you want to take money from sit there and go, you know what? Well, I'll be dead one day and the NFL will still go on. <laughs> like, how does that help you and your family and your self-worth and self-being? It doesn't. You're going to tell Saquon, don't go back to the state where you grew up and played college ball and your family lives in the Philadelphia area. Don't do that. Come on. Let's do it for the big blue. You know, my family's had season tickets here for half a century. How dare you? Get out of here with that nonsense. <laughs> Get out of here. So... It's a business on both sides of the table. Honestly, it's just going to be tough for you to watch Saquon come in and 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 have the protection up front that he didn't have in New York. By the way, he's going to have a whole better situation. Soup to nuts. And Big Dom. And Big Dom's going to be back, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, honestly, like, <laughs> he's got it everywhere. So go kill it. And and Giants fans, if you're really upset, I can't. Honestly, 
Uh, I, you know, play better, GM better, right? Coach better, and pay better. But I understand they made their they made their bets in other spots didn't work out, and they just pivoted, and it's tough for them to swallow. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 